going on guys my name is drew and welcome back to some more seven days to die playing the war of the walkers mod if you haven't checked out the previous episode please go do so it was horde night 2 day 14 and essentially we managed to break the game go check it out to find out what exactly happened but it didn't go according to plan have done a bit of work as you'll see in the last video in between to try and strengthen our horde base but yeah, do go check it out. It was um, not quite as expected, I'll put it that way. We are going to head back to base and drop some stuff off because there's some bits I want to do today. One of the things I need to do, and I keep saying I'm going to do it and I keep forgetting, is to actually make a mortar and pestle. So we're going to go back and do that. But yeah, if you're new to the channel, guys, please do consider like, commenting and subscribing. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for the support received so far. It's very much appreciated. Definitely feeling the love from the Seven Days community. I'm just really enjoying getting back into it again. Here we are. Home sweet home. Ah. Right. Got a few bits on us to put away, so we'll get that done first and then... Look at what we're going to do today. Well, I've come to realise that one of the things I badly need to do, and again, mentioned this in the last episode, so I'm going to do it now so it's done, is make some better storage. Because uh, all our storage boxes are now full, so can we make the large storage boxes? What do we need? Wood and nails. But are they the writable ones? There's these extra... Oh, there's the writable ones. How would you get those? Storage and comfort. That's oh, a tradesman class exclusive, which we're nowhere near completing because we need a couple more parts to that one. Uh, what do I do then? Do I just make some standard ones for now and then eventually move up to the large ones once we can unlock them? What is that? Supply storage chest. That sounds interesting. Specialised storage for supplies or other miscellaneous items. Okay. Yeah, ideally I want the writable ones if I can, especially the extra large one. But we'll get that by completing the tradesman class. So, okay. Well, that's fine. Let's, for now then, just make some standard boxes. And just position one there. Uh, one there. One there. Where else can I put it? Another one there. Right, that gives us a bit more storage. So what I can do is work on that. So for now, let's just pop all this away. Uh, you can go in there for now. I'll sort all of these out later. Especially the bullets, because we definitely don't need that many on us. The rest of it is fine. Let's pop our crossbow back down the bottom. I think as part of the tradesman class as well, I need to repair each of those tools. So, have I got that on me? Or did I just put it away in this box? Not that box. Yes, tools. Okay, so can we repair the fire axe? Yes, we can. Can't repair the iron pickaxe because we haven't really used it. I can repair the shovel. Hammer I can also repair. So we need to use the wrench and the pickaxe. Well, we can do that easily. That's not a problem. Um, right, mortar and pestle. I have to. Mortar and pestle. What do we need? Iron glue, scrap polymers and wood. Glue? Yeah, I've got glue. Is that everything? I assume I just make one of those. That'll take 13 seconds. So we can put these bits away i think that's definitely the right move though make the standard ones that we've been making all along in terms of the storage boxes complete the tradesman class and then make obviously the better ones uh from there right, where are we going to put our mortar and pestle we might as well put it in here if there's a gap for it again oh that's something we could test out actually Let's change our graphics down to the lowest. 
this is one of the things I've thought about doing to try and get the textures to come back at right, lowest back to actually let's do ultra see if that brings the texture back on our soldier uh, vending machine might not it might not fix it but it's one of the things I thought might help because it does seem to be a sort of textural issue that we're having ah that's fixed it okay so just resetting the textures that's what we should have seen right at the start okay so that works now okay let's change our settings back to what we normally have them on and let's see if it then holds the quality ah so one of these settings then is what's is screwing up the vending machine because I've just changed it back to my normal settings. So which one is it then? Uh, that one? Is it the texture quality needing to be full, I wonder? No, it's not that. It's not going to be anti-aliasing, is it? What else could it be? View distance? No. Reflected shadows? Let's put, let's put those on and see if that makes a difference. Don't think it's that. Well, it could be reflection quality because that's what that looks like, doesn't it? Or not? Texture quality? UMA texture quality. What is UMA texture quality? Well, that doesn't seem to have made a difference. So I'll keep that as it is. A water quality? No. Shadow distance? No. I don't know what. I don't know what that is. Doesn't seem to have made any difference anyway. Let's put that back to normal. Terrain quality, object quality maybe. Change that to high. No. Could it be one of these? Hmm. We've managed to get it to work by changing everything to ultra, but I'm not quite sure which setting it is that's making the the texture go on the on the vending machine um it's clearly not that is it the anti-aliasing up then let's change that to temporal no we ch we've changed that before haven't we and it didn't do anything what i should have done is gone back through everything individually yeah see it's not working now let's change it back to ultra Just see if it actually goes back to the way it was. Oh god, I've changed it to Ultra and it's now not working at all. Oh god, that's horrible. Oh, hang on. The way we did it... Oh, it's come back again. Oh, okay. Hang on then. Let's change back to what we had before. Put that back down. You guys will know in the comments, I'm sure, when you see what I'm doing with my settings, what I need to change. But if I can get it to work on my normal settings, that'd be amazing. Uh, change that to off. Off. Hate motion blur. On. Off and off. Now, it'll probably disappear, but maybe... If I go into it and go back out of it again, it might. Yeah, there we go. I've managed to reset it. Yes! There we go. We've got it to work. I can't pick it up though, can I? No, that's annoying. Uh, one of the things we can do now, though, I think, is make another survivalist class fragment. We can. Now, we all know what happened to the last one I made, so need to be careful not to make the same mistake again. I uh, can't remember what I need to do here. Do I read it? No. Oh my god, I've literally forgotten. Didn't I just read it last time? I swear I did. I didn't put it into anything, did I? Surely I haven't got to make it. 
with all those materials. I, I thought by making it again I'd be alright. Have I completely lost the plot here? I probably have. I don't do anything in here, do I? Oh god, yeah, I need to take those as well. I forgot we made those in the last one. Uh, not in here, is it? No. No, it won't be in there. Won't be in there. I'm so confused. I've, I can't read it. I can't equip it. Is that because I've already made one and I've obviously screwed it up? Surely I've not got to make the vending machine again. Is it that you unlock it once and then if you break it, you've got to make it from scratch? Because if so, I definitely don't think I've got all of that. Uh, forge steel. No, I need 86 more. Tungsten, I'd need a lot more. Ah, oh, that's, that's really annoying. If I can't do that. <sighs> okay. I'm going to have to come back to that. Maybe I need to do a bit of reading to see. Ooh, what's this? Robotic drone. Morale booster mod schematic. We'll read that. Uh, Grandpa's awesome sauce recipe. Read that. And flat boat <laughs> accessory schematic. That was from reading one of the mod schematics that we created. Let's read that one as well. For minor tune-up mod schematic, uh, advanced muffled connectors mod schematic, and a vehicle supercharger mod schematic. That's a really good way of getting uh, getting books rather than going to something like uh, rather than going to like a cracker book or something like that. For the love of God! Oh, it had to be you, didn't it? Just had to be you. Of course it did. Of course it did. Um, oh, that's annoying. Where are our papers? Because I'd quite like to make some more of those. We've got plenty of them. We've got 159 papers on us. So I'm gutted about that survivalist class paper. I thought given that we had managed to make another one by finding the five like specific class things we'd be able to just make another or it would give us another survivalist vendor machine but nope. Let's just make one of those and why can't I make any more? And that one. Lovely. Right let's pop this away. Pop that away and I'll have to come back to that. Just eat some food. I'm a bit sort of hungover still from the uh, from the horde, I think. What do I need? Uh, let's have a look. Uh, deep laceration. So I need a first aid kit. And I've also got a mild infection. So where are my first aid kits? Oh, have I left them back at the horde base? Surely not all of them. God, I have as well. Oh, unless I don't just put them in this box, have I? No. I can take some honey, though, for my infection. I can take a bandage. Does that get rid of the laceration? Ah, sewing kit. I've got plenty of them. Fine. Okay. Let's pop that away. Pop that away. Um, right, we're good. Sounds like we've got some more friends joining us. Oh, yeah, like I say, I'm still a bit scuppered from the uh, from the horde night and what happened then. So I need to get back on focus again. Right, I'm gonna go and use that pickaxe. What can we break? I just want to damage the pickaxe a bit so I can repair it. I also need to do the same with the wrench. Oh, can I? Can I take it out on your head? Maybe. I might damage it a bit. Thanks, Lois. Oh, that's reset. What if that whole building's reset? There we go. That should give a bit of damage, surely. Yeah, there we go. Right, so that'll be done. And then it's just the wrench. And then we can get rid of these tools and move on to whatever 
is required of us next. Right, well, can I wrench? Dang. Uh, can I wrench just a standard newspaper stand? Did much damage. Oh, it took enough damage off. Nice, so we're on to. Oh my god. Tradesman class part 4. Gather 5,000 wood, 5,000 stone, 5,000 clay soil. I mean, the rest of it, yeah, probably. Five thousand wood. Can I make a chainsaw? <laughs> I wonder if I can make a chainsaw. No, I can't. That's bloody annoying. Okay. Well, let's put these bits away. I might have to do that because I definitely haven't got that much stone, have I? How much have I got? Just out of curiosity. Stone. Oh god, I've got 124. How much wood have I got? 181. That's uh, that's gonna take a while. Uh, let's get rid of you. Pop the polymers in there. Pop the stone in there. Ah, oh, not a productive start to the day. That's gonna take a while to do. Let's go on look at our quests. I might go and do this quest. Let's get back on the quest game again. You never know. It might help us out and give us some stuff. It certainly ain't going to give us that much stone and wood, though. How the hell would you get that much? About, like, like deforesting the whole game. <laughs> the whole server. I wonder if these special blocks... You know, like this this green one here, for example. I wonder if they give you more stone. Like different trees give you more wood, maybe? I don't know. I assume this quest is in the other town, yeah. Um. What the hell? What is this? I mean, it it looks like it should be a, a loot box, but it's a tree. But it's a it's a it's a tree. What the hell? It's it's got candles on it, like uh, the loot on a stick's got. If I get rid of the tree, will the maybe the loot on the stick will uh, appear? Let's try. Or I'll just break the whole thing. I'll break the whole thing, shall I? Right. Successful. <laughs> Successful day so far. Can't make the survivalist uh, vending machine for some reason. Uh, and we've also potentially ruined what would have been a loot uh, on a box. A uh, box on a stick. What else could possibly go wrong? What are these? What are these? That's l like purple and... Purple and green? Ooh. Oh, this gives you all the different resources like before. Okay. I haven't got time for you. I can't believe it's one o'clock. We spent... Part of it sorting out our graphic settings. Part of it realising we can't do the vending machine that we want to do. Be good to get back doing some questing again though. It's been a little while. Oh, that's a cool building. That's a really cool house actually. In fact, is that the Darkness Falls house? I think that is the building that me and Badger are in in Darkness Falls. It looks like it. Oh. Uh, be a good POI, please. 
That's another passing gas, is it? Yes, it is. Right, give us some good loot. We're at loot stage 98. What are we doing in terms of everything else? Level 73, game stage 103, enemy kills 545, and that one death. That one death. Take one of those, take one of those. What does the Atom Junkies do? Oh, that's explosive damage, not something that we need to think about. We start that. Is that still available? Yeah, nothing more in there. Search the car again for brass and iron. Murky water. Here comes. Oh, comes to you. Ooh, good swing. Good swing and a miss. Arlene dropping some bags with some more crossbow bolts. She knows what I like. Can of pasta and some can of peas. Uh, some lead and some glue in the trash. Anything decent in the service truck? Another book. Tech Junkie Volume 6. 25% chance for regular power attacks. I assume that's with the robot. Get down. Uh, right. How many times have we done? Oh, is this a slightly different one? I think this is a slightly different passing guess. Sounds like something's on fire. Anything in the shelves? Just some lockpicks and some duct tape. It's good to get our lockpicks back. We used quite a lot when we raided the uh, shotgun messiah. I feel like there might be something up there. No? Okay. Oh yeah, there is. Duffel bag with, with an empty can in it. Thanks, game. Oh, that's a, that's a screamer. That's a feral screamer. Oh! <laughs> Literally, as she was coming past me, I swang and... Yeah, the rest is history. So is she. Uh, anything in there? No. Let's break you open. Actually, we can switch back to our other tools now, can't we? Shale and some motor tool parts. Let's switch back to that. Get rid of all of those. In fact, can I sell those now? They must be worth some money, yeah. I must have left the other things back at the base, I guess. Search the workbench for some more brass. That's a yellow car. Yeah, yellow sedan. Looks kind of green to me. Quite a few more nails, which is what we need. Some more gas. We've definitely not got an issue with gas. Repair kits for tools. In here. Someone. Sounds like the other side of that wall. Uh, anything down here? Some some rubbish? No. Bag at the end. Oh, we've raided something similar to this a few times. Nothing behind any of this is there, I don't think. Oh, hang on. No, nothing behind that either. I was going to say, I don't think I miss anything when I do loot these buildings. Oh, get, don't bother getting up, Lumberjack. It's all right. It's fine. Wood and stone. Not anywhere near what we want. Uh, some vitamins and some cotton from the chem bench. Thing in there. Let's go back to our stealthy crossbow. Oh, do we do we think I can hit that shot? That's his first. That's their foot, isn't it? It's not even their head. Oh, oh, good work. Good, good work, Drew. Dodge the pigeon. Dodge the pigeon. Dodge the pigeon. Scream up. Get down. Yeah, you're dead. And 
you as well. And that's the quest complete, I think. Yeah. Right. What's in the loots? Uh, chrysanthemum and some black strap coffee. More 9mm ammo. Uh, first aid bandages and some aloe cream. Fireman's Almanac Volume 5. Fire prevention. Stop, drop and roll like a pro. Reduce chance to be lit on fire by 25%. That's quite good. Let's break into this pass and gas for, and the popping pills as well. Give me some car parts. Uh, oil shell and repair kits for vehicles. And vitamins. And a splint. Right, I think... Yeah, that's it done. Uh, oh, with the truck over here reset, I guess it. Oh, hi guys, you found your way up to me. Bit of a wasted trip, though. Yeah, I think the truck would have reset. No, it won't. Okay. Nice. Well, that's that quest done. I might go and see my trader. Because I haven't got any quests for them now. And see if they're giving out tier 2 quests. Because they'll probably give me them in the area. Although I would quite like to do some modded buildings. If there's a, an opportunity. Oh, as I'm approaching the trader, I'm wondering. Do they sell bundles of resources? Oh, you do get the resources in the loot on sticks though, don't you? As well. That possibly get me the next part of the tradesman class, I wonder. Hmm. We'll have a look. Afternoon, traders. It's been a little while, actually. What are you up to? Oh, you're back. No longer with your heads in the uh, in your booths. Uh, oh, you have a great day now. Yep. Yeah, thank you. Any jobs? Well, yeah, you are giving tier two. Yep, yeah, that'll that'll do nicely. I'll take that. I can't thank you enough. Ah, so, what are you buying today? Is that it? Yep. Yeah, okay, that's the small talk we're getting today. At least you're back, like no longer again floating in your booth. You're actually on the floor. Very supplies are pretty good, aren't they? Tough jobs. Okay, be careful and try not to get yourself killed. Thank you. I will try. Howdy. Thanks for your concern. Howdy. What about you? You got anything decent? See, you're still tier one. Maybe I need to build up a reputation with you as well. So maybe we'll do that by taking... Can you help me with my problem? Yep. We'll God take that speed. off of you. Are you selling anything like an absolute ton of stone? You've got cobble, cement... Springs, some double windows, a screwdriver, an anvil. Do we need an anvil? I think we might actually need an anvil. Um, oh, we do definitely need a crucible at some point if anyone's got one. Well, oh, you've got a motorcycle for sale, 30,000. HD. Vehicle wheels. I might actually need one of those. So I'll take that off you because I don't know when you're going to have that again. I think we want that for the buggy, but I need, still need two more. Anything tables wise? No. Jar of honey. Anything in your normal stash? Don't need any of that now. Don't need a robotic turret. Robotic drone cargo mod schematic. Doesn't really interest me. What's this one? Oh, that's to make the black strap coffee that we got earlier. Okay. That might be an option. Art of Mining Volume 4. Safe we'll travels. take that. Thank you. Not completed the series yet, though. Uh, I will sell you, though. That, that, and that. In fact, I might as well just sell you these now while I'm here. Thank you, Survivor. No, thank Check you. Right, soon. quests at last guys. that are close by. 
which is our closest, the tier 2 clear. Let's go and do that one. Why the hell not? The more tier 2s we can do, the better reputation we can get. Oh god, don't be the shotgun messiah. Oh, thank god for that. I was going to say, not after I've just completed it. Although it would have reset, actually, and it meant I could do it again and get some awesome loot. No, it's this building. Oh, we've already done this building, haven't we? The JW building. Oh, I don't mind doing it again. Uh, search that. Six o'clock at night, why not? Switch to our crowbar. Oh, yeah, we get more of that stuff as well, don't we? Yeah, that's good. Blue and iron. Let's kill all the zombies first and then I'll get the stuff afterwards. I don't know, have I just, I've just sold my shovel as well, haven't I? Ah! Can I make another one? Oh, no, I can't. What about a stone shovel? Just need some plant fibres. Are there any just outside? Just enough to be able to make a stone shovel for now. Whoops. Nothing like planning ahead, Drew. And that was nothing like it. Right, that's... Means we can grab the mushrooms. We did that last time. Search the shelves, more nails. What's in the sink? Just an empty jar. Looking pot, thanks game. The cement. Oh, makes a hell of a difference not having the shovel that we had before. I think I would have done this in one or two hits. Get the rest of the mushrooms. Isn't there normally zombies behind that wall there? How have they not woken up with me making that racket? Oh, it's because there's none in it. Bandage. Some iron pipes. Nothing else here, no. Take the cobble. Eventually. Uh, how is my infection at 4.6%? I thought we had some honey, which meant it disappeared, didn't it? Saying I'm thirsty, though. I haven't actually got anything to drink. I'm not massively thirsty. Oh, apparently eating peas gives you a bit of liquid, so that worked out quite well. Gave me three, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's really weird. I thought I thought we got rid of our scrap that, take that. I thought we got rid of our um infection. Oh, another chemistry station with some golden rod in. Filing cabinet with some paper. Not gonna bother taking that. Right upstairs then. Where are you? There you go. Anything in your loot bag? Some lamb rations, can of stock, and some more 9 mil. That's good. Coffee maker with no coffee in it. Well, not made coffee, anyway. Empty cans. Dust bin. Actually, it'd be interesting to see now we've reset our um, textures, whether the pickup truck now set looks better. Windsurfer frame schematic. I think we've read that, haven't we? Yeah. Let's scrap that down. I feel like it was this building we got the windsurfer schematic in before. Take all of that, scrap that down. 
Why is it thundering outside? We've had Horde Knight. Come on then. <laughs> well done, Steve. Uh, is this just a clear? It is. Okay. So you don't need to worry about finding a bag. Got the same zombies in here as well. God. Uh, Dusty the Mouse Toy. Worth 200. Again, I've been selling them. Don't know if it is the right thing to do, but that's what I've been doing. Anything in the bathtub? Just some bones and some rotten flesh. Murky water in the toilet. Another Steve. Another feral Steve as well. Anything in the bookcase? This journal which we've read, so scrap them. Or papers. Oh, wow. Lumberjack and a motorbike. Oh, you dropped a blue bag with some hazmat boots. Magnum, ammo, some lamb rations. We might eat those now. I don't think on here, though, on War of the Walkers, I don't think the wasteland is... Uh, radiated though, is it? So I don't know if I need hazmat gear, thinking about it. How much is it worth? Yeah, it's worth quite a lot of money actually. Hmm. Well, if I... yeah, if... If there, if there aren't any radiated areas on here, then I might as well just sell it. Let's go tungsten. Tungsten for the win. Yeah, look at that. Still got it. I feel like you're above me. Oh, this is horrible. I feel like he's... Oh, he's not up there. Oh, there you are. Oh, God! That scared the hell out of me, then. God damn it. Yeah, no wonder the heart's going. Heart rate's going. God, that scared the life out of me. Thank you for that. That's, a, that's an interesting pose. Uh, where's my shovel? There we go. Take this with us. Get some more blueprints. I'm hoping for some decent loot. Because this is a tier 2, so... In theory, the loot should be reflecting that. Uh, scrap leg armour, that's top level, I think. Oh, there we've got Kevlar armour. Nah, I'll take, take that and sell it, but I think I'm keeping the Kevlar armour going. Weapons bag with steel sledge armour parts. Medical supplies. We have a first aid kit. I don't think we need it. Oh, we might need a first aid kit, actually, looking at it. Yeah, that's cured that. We definitely need some antibiotics. Wasteland Treasures Volume 1. Honey. I found out honey is a natural antibiotic and cures most of the nasty infections, although it doesn't seem to be curing ours. I learned a little trick on how to sometimes get it when harvesting trees. Take that then, and a load of bullets. Automotive store sealed shipping crate. Oh, this could be quite good. Maybe. Or not. That's ridiculous. Hub cap and an air filter. And then we're done. Uh, right. What is the time? Have we got time to do another quest while we're here? Have we got one close? Got the Oh we've got the tier two berry supplies. Well how good's your shot, Drew? How good's your shot? Move in. Take the flight. Oh missed. Oh now it's running away. 
Did I hit it? No, of course I didn't. Right, let's go. Let's go do this. Just as night time hits as well. Ooh. There's a truck over there. Yeah, see? That's what the truck should look like. Orange light. Yeah. And like a proper bit of colour on it. The one that I saw on whatever day it was, was just all black because I hadn't sorted out the textures, but... Yeah, fingers crossed we have now. Right. Where's this berry supplies? Look at me going out at night. Zombies all around us wanting to eat our face. To do our berry supplies. Oh, don't be... Oh, there's a box on a stick. Oh, don't be under the rock. Tier 2 berry supplies. Uh, right, hang on. Because I do think they reset, let's reload our weapons. Start that. Right. Oh, please be like here. Just be nice if it was just here. Don't make me have to dig very far. Especially given I'm using a quite a crappy stone shovel. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. How many of them? Just the three. Easy. I feel like... Is there more coming? I can hear something. That's a rabbit. No? Why is it making the music sound like more are coming? Oh, there's a pig. You're not coming for me? No? No, you're not interested. Kind of hoping that piggy doesn't join me down here because it's definitely going to rage on me if it does. I quite like, yeah, that's what I thought. I quite like to dig. Oh, does it only happen once? I'm thinking I quite like to dig near where the uh, ring was so that. If anything did spawn in, I could deal with it easier because I could hop out. I thought things spawned every time the the ring went in, but clearly not. Ah, oh, it was literally just underneath me. Hang on a hang on a second. That's. It's, ju it's literally just, it's on the rim of being inside the ring there. Ah, oh, look at that, that's shocking. Uh, right, very supplies. What have we got? Robotic parts, a HD shotgun, tube extender mod, and some first aid bandage schematics. Wow. Wow. Oh god, yeah, a lot more zombies this time. Time for the SMG. Yeah, quite a few zombies there. Get down. Nice, right. Let's. Where's the box on the stick? There it is. Oh, please make up for the one that wasn't really one earlier. That's an ammo crate. Ooh, a decent amount of ammo. Some more exploding bolts. I do like the exploding bolts, as we know. 
particularly like testing them out on bears. Uh, right, let's head back to base. There's a bear there. Look at that for timing. Just got back. There's a bear creeping up on our base. Uh, exploding crossbow bolt. It's been a pleasure, bear. I am not going to miss that. Oh, another one that's high-fiving. <laughs> These bears posing. The ragdoll effects on the uh, zombies and the uh, animals is pretty insane. Right. Let's get back into base. Whew, what an episode. Not quite as I expected. I'm glad we've managed to kind of sort out the class vendor machine? Is it because it's dark? I think it might be because it's dark. Gutted about the survivalist class, so I'm going to have to have a look at that because we definitely haven't got enough resources to be able to make the vending machine, but I'm going to have to look at maybe in between episodes, trying to get all the stuff needed for the tradesman class. It's going to take a while, I feel. Food progression we could do with doing. There's so much still left to do, though. I need to do the gold tip knife. I need to do that as part of one of the quests I picked up. Animal hunting. That'd give us quite a bit of money and some XP. Gun progression I need to do. Melee weapon progression I need to do. <laughs> Resource progression. Gathering all those plant fibres. I've got to hand those quests in as well and do the other ones. What's that one? Tool progression I need to do as well. That's crafting steel shovels and things. We'll have to start working on those things in the next episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed this one today. Please make sure, as always, you like, comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for the support that the channel, myself and the series has received so far. And I will catch you in the next episode. Take care.